Hey you guys, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make sure that I did do this video today. Um, this news just come out, so hold on one second. This news just come out, so I wanted to go ahead and make sure that I did put this out there. Now, um, while it seems like the family has been knowing for um, a couple of months, it's just like breaking the internet, and that is that Mama June's daughter, Anna Chickadee, Cardwell has been diagnosed with stage four cancer. You guys give me a thumbs up if you can hear me and see me. I don't know why it goes right into an ad. I apologize about that. Everyone watching on the live stream, I know that's irritating that when you guys click on, it goes straight to a live stream, uh, goes straight to a, an ad and you guys miss the first part of the video. So I do apologize. All right. So <laughs> like I said, Several, I mean, it's everywhere right now. I mean, it's been uh, three hours ago. ET posted it. Um, Parade posted it four hours ago. Um, New York Daily Mail three hours ago. In Touch five hours ago. Radar Online five hours ago. Um, all of this has just started um, posting today about this situation with Chickadee. And it's honestly, like, that is scary. She is super young. Let's get into what kind of cancer that she has. Honestly, when I first saw that she had cancer, I kind of assumed that it would be something like cervical cancer um, because that's something that, you know, women deal with. Um, but that's not at all what she has. So Mama June's oldest daughter, Anna Chickadee Carwell, has been diagnosed with cancer. TMZ is reporting that the 28-year-old has stage 4 cancer and received her adrenal carcinoma diagnosis in January. Anna, Anna underwent a series of tests for stomach aches and cancer was, was discovered in her liver, her kidneys, and her lungs. Anna has reportedly experienced her first round of chemotherapy with further treatment decisions to be made depending on her reaction. A source tells CMZ that Anna's family members are very hopeful she will get better. Anna is the mother of, um, she's a mother of two, sharing daughters, Caitlin, who is 10, and Kylie, who is seven, with her ex-husband, Michael. Anna is the sister of Jessica Chubb Shannon, Lauren Pumpkin, Eford, um, and Alana Honey Boo Boo um, Thompson. Anna has been outspoken about her mother, June, in 2017, Mama June's shocking weight loss journey was documented on TV reality series Mama June from Not to Hot. At the time, Anna said the former Here Come Honey Boo Boo star's weight loss was motivated by fame. She said, I think she did this to be more famous. I don't think she did it for her because she never mentioned anything ever before about getting plastic surgery. Anna and June recently reconnected, reunited, attending a baby shower in June 2021 together and later at June's Florida wedding to Jessica Stroud last month. E.T. has reached out to Mama June's rep for comment on her daughter's reported cancer diagnosis, but no word back yet. yet. Now, you know what's weird is when um, I was showing the video where Pumpkin and Alana was just going off about Draylon's arrest. In that video, Anna, somebody asked like where Anna was, and June was like, Anna's probably sleeping. And then I was like, oh, no, Anna's in the chat. And Alana goes, Anna! And it's like, and then Pump is like, Anna, hey, Anna! And it just seemed like they were really excited about the fact that Anna was there. And I'm like, you know, I know when I'm live, my sister pops in. I'm like, hey, Floss. Um, but they did seem like really excited, like, Anna! And I was like, that's weird. Maybe it's because they were kind of exchanged from her for a while, that now that they're kind of back okay, you know, um, no wonder they were acting so aggressively. Maybe this is why they were, I don't know. Like, yeah. Um, so I want to learn more about this adrenal carcinoma. I'm not really sure what that is. But from my understanding, like stage four is not like, Are
All right, what is adrenal carcinoma? It may, it may not seem like it, but your body constantly changes from moment to the next. A tweak here to lower your blood sugar, sugar, a boost there to increase your blood flow. Oh my goodness. Stage four is like the worst of the worst, I do believe, yeah. It's a complex balancing act to give each part of your body exactly what's needed, whether you're baking a cake or running a marathon. Your adrenal glands, one on each kidney, help in the process by making hormones, which are messengers to tell your organs what they need to do next. They control everything from your blood pressure to your mood. True, Kelly, yeah. When you have adrenal carcinoma, also called adrenal cancer or adrenocortical cancer, you have a cancerous tumor in your adrenal cortex. This is the outer part of your adrenal gland. Adrenal carcinoma is rare. Your doctors may be able to cure it if they catch it early, but it is aggressive. That means it spreads quickly, and if it moves beyond the adrenal gland, it is much harder to treat. Doctors aren't sure what causes adrenal cancer. It starts with a change in the genes of some adrenal cells, but that change seems to happen at random. It can run in families, so if anyone in your family has cancer in their adrenal glands or other parts of their endocrine system, tell your doctor. If you do get it, regular che checkups can help you catch it early. When you have a genetic condition, you have a defect in one or more genes. Some genetic conditions may give you higher odds of getting adrenal cancer. Hereditary non-polyoposis, colorectal cancer, HNPC, Lafromini syndrome, multiple endocrine neoplasia, neoplasia in men one, Beckwith, Wideman syndrome, familial adenomatosis, polyoposis, which is fat, fat um, symptoms. Some tumors are functioning, meaning that they overproduce one of the hormones normally made with the adrenal gland. Others are non-functioning, non non meaning they don't make the hormones. As they grow, both types of tumors can press on your organs and cause pain in your belly, side or back, a feeling of fullness, that may keep you from eating and lump in your belly. You're likely to get other symptoms if you are if you have a functioning tumor, which would give you a higher than normal hormonal level. Your symptoms depend on which hormone the tumor makes. So aldosterone, too much of this hormone could cause problems such as high blood pressure, pain more than normal, weak muscle, weak muscles and cramping. Cortisol, too much cortisol causes many symptoms, including easy bruising, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, extra fat on the back of your neck, mood swings, purple and pink stretch marks, very round red face, weight gain in the face, neck and torso, but thin arms and legs. Estrogen. In women, too much estrogen, estrogen may lead to issues like menstrual periods that aren't regular, vaginal bleeding in women after menopause, weight gain. In men, too much estrogen may cause breast growth, low sex drive, and trouble getting an erection. Testosterone, too much testosterone tends to not cause any pro many problems in men, but women with too much, they have a deeper voice, hair loss, might stop having their period. So a diagnosis, your doctor will start with questions about your symptoms, health history, and cancer in your family. You'll also get a physical exam. Your doctor will feel around your belly for a tumor. From there, you'll likely get different blood and urine tests to check your hormone levels. High levels can be a sign of a tumor, but doesn't mean it is cancer. Your doctor may also use a CT scan, MRIs, lapar laparoscopy, PET scan. Because your adrenal glands are close to some important blood vessels, you may also get adrenal angiography or adrenal venography. These tests check blood flow in the arteries and veins around your adrenal gland. Treatment is surgery to take off the adrenal gland. This is the treatment doctors prefer. prefer. It's the only way to cure adrenal cancer, but if the cancer is spread too far, that's not an option. Chemotherapy to kill the cancer cells. Um, it's often used if you can't get surgery. It may also be used after surgery to kill off any last cancer cells. Radiation therapy to destroy cancer, cancer, cancer cells with high energy from x-rays and other sources. You may get radiation if surgery couldn't remove all the cancer or if the cancer comes back after surgery. It's often used more to ease your symptoms than cure your cancer.
what is the relative survival rate for adrenal cancer? Survival rights for adrenal cancer. Survival rights can give you an idea of what percentage of people with the same type of stage of cancer are still alive for a certain amount of time, usually five years after they were diagnosed. They can't tell you how long you will live, but they may help you give a better understanding of how likely it is that your treatment will be successful. So what is a, what is a five-year relative survival rate? A relative survival rate compares people with the same type and stage of cancer to people in overall population. For example, if the five-year relative survival rate for a specific stage of adrenal cancer is 80%, that means that people who have that cancer are on average about 80% as likely as people who don't have cancer to live for, the, for at least five years after being diagnosed. Okay. Stage. The tumor is five centimeters, about two inches or less in size, and has not grown into tissue. Um, if it is not spread, that's T1. T2, T2 is the tumor is greater than five centimeters in size, has not grown into tissue outside the adrenal gland, has not spread to nearby lymph nodes or distant site. The tumor is five centimeters or less in size, has not grown into tissues. The cancer is spread to nearby lymph nodes, but not distant sites. The tumor is greater than five centimeters, has spread in your violent nodes. I'm trying to get like. Anybody can find like what's the survival rate for stage four adrenal cancer? trying to find it chances of surviving stage four adrenal cancer life expectancy let me see if this one will according to statistical analysis published by ame medical journal the five-year survival rate for the following stage one is 82 percent stage two is 61 percent stage three is 50 for 50 percent stage four is 13 percent I'm seeing that only about 13% of people with stage four adrenal gland cancer will make it past five years, only 13%. And that's another thing they're saying. It's in her liver and her kidneys as well. Her liver, her kidneys, and her lungs. Oh. That's terrible. Wow. For her to make it past five years, thir she has like a 13% chance to make it past five years. Jesus, she's so young. She's got two kids who are really young. She's so young. She's 28. She's 28. And it is in multiple, it's her kidney, liver, lungs. Uh, I'm glad that she's so optimistic. Uh, the reports are saying that her family has really rallied around her in the past few months. She found out in January. Man, God bless her. Oh. 
Um, let's see. Here she is at the hospital. That's terrible. So there she is in the hospital. Um, they say she's about to start, that, that she's been losing her hair. But I did see her on the TikTok the other day, and I, I couldn't tell, but, you know. That is just devastating. So she went her first round of chemotherapy last month and has already started losing hair as a result. Doctors are waiting to see how she reacts to the treatment before they make any further decisions. Her family is very hopeful that she will pull through. I hope her doctors are like giving her the lowdown like and not like giving her false hope though. You know what I'm saying? Like tell them like, listen, this is what we think we can do. This is what the chances are. But I, don't, you know, I hope nobody's giving her like absolute false hope. Oh man, this is devastating. If app, if you're watching, I went back into my thing earlier and could not. I was not seeing your name, babe. Um. Anyways, you guys, um, uh, we will have to go ahead and close this video out, but I wanted to hop on here really quickly, give you guys that information. This is devastating for her. This is devastating, devastating for her family, devastating for her kids, just devastating all the way around because there is no, I, I can't even imagine. I cannot even imagine how her family is feeling right now, how scared she is. I know when I had that like cancer scare where, um, um they found pre-cancer cells and i had to have surgery to have those pre-cancer cells removed that was like scary you know um someone said i would get life insurance for my kids uh for their kids but not for her now that she has a pre-existing condition if she don't have life insurance she can't get it right i did 14 out of 16 rounds of 30 which i came out lost on my hair lash and brows I'm hopeful to be going into two years remission. Oh, yes. Praise God, Amanda. Praise God. That I'm so glad to hear that you're, you know, you're in remission. Anyways, you guys, like I said, I want to hop on here and let you guys know that. Um, I'm gonna be catching up on Vanderpump Rules. Uh, it seems like the episode that I thought was the last one was not the last one, but I do I, I wanted to do recaps, you know, I wanted to do recaps or whatever. And I wanted to do a recap today, but then I realized I didn't watch the last episode. So hopefully when I get on there today and check, I'll be able to watch the last episode. Um, Appalachian, I'm I'm going to check after I get off here to see. Also, there's another one, um, Jamie, that said that you were blocked. I'm going to check on that one as well. Uh, I might just go through and just unblock everybody. Only the people that like I absolutely know I need to leave. Uh, but thank you guys for having on with me tonight, today. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.